How does that make you feel? Because you've been predicting what the end game of this looks like for you know over a decade. And I wanna dive into the art elect war and, and what you see happening. But I'm curious how you feel about this, this sudden advance forward in ChatGPT. Does it surprise you? Do you find it curious? Do you find it dark at all? Well, let me put visually. I'm trying to give the camera angle right here. So my left hand here, let, let that represent human intelligence level. And again, try. And so my right hand here, that's machine intelligence level. Now there's an IQ gap between human intelligence level today and machine level intelligence. And then along comes chat GPT. And this is where I think we are now. And that's scary. <laughs> you thought this was going to be another five, 10 years more? Uh, I, know, I know you asked you know, quite a few of your interviewees this question. And my, uh, until GPT came along, my feeling was, I think machines will reach human level intelligence. I'd be very surprised if it does not happen before the end of this century. I think it's more likely around mid-century. But now with the uh, GPT, I would halve that. I'm now thinking 10, 15, 20, that kind of time frame. So I might even still be alive. I mean, I used to say, I'm going to die quietly in my bed, but my grandchildren will be caught up in, in this horrible conflict that I'm predicting is coming. But now I am suddenly have question marks. God, I might even see it. Uh, I know Jeffrey Hinton, you know, the yeah. guy I recently quit from um, Google, who's, who in a sense is the grandfather of all this uh, fantastic technological development. He, I mean, he's, he made uh, neural networks programmable. You, know, you can get neural networks to learn and you know, machine learning. And he he's scared. You know, he's, he's quit Google so he can be free to express himself freely. Uh, I think Ben has uh, you know, reduced the number of years necessary before uh, machines start uh, reaching human level intelligence. And of course, once they do that, once they reach human level intelligence, well, then they can redesign themselves. I mean, they can you know, upgrade their circuitry and make it faster, better, smarter. And then they can look into how the brain works you know, with new tools. And, and so you'll get this, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the term, uh, takeoff. Uh, that, that's how quickly the, the smart machines become super smart and then super duper smart and so on. <laughs> yeah. off, off they go. So um, I'm, I'm, in a sense, more worried that the so-called takeoff might be slow rather than fast. If it's fast, it's fait accompli, and then the machines are there, and hopefully they'll just ignore us. We'll just be like ants to them. But if it's slow, if there's enough time for human politics to react, then I see a much worse outcome. Maybe we, maybe we can talk a bit about that a bit later. You, you really want to talk about you know, the longer-term political consequences of the rise of AI, I, I assume. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable. 
and push to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal and I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.